Hi, everyone. I'm Ash Javeri, and I'm VP of Partnerships here at Meta. And I'm excited to spend some time talking to you about AI, Llama, and our great partnership with Databricks. Before jumping into that, I want to share a little bit of our broader vision here at Meta and really around the two platforms that we're invested in and building. The first one is around XR and the metaverse. Here, we're building devices, software, and platforms that allow people to connect and be present in ways that they can't with the devices that exist today. And the second platform that we're very much invested in is AI. And with AI, we really believe that it's gonna change the future in ways that we can't even really imagine. We're gonna unlock human creativity, drive and boost human performance and productivity, and really just transform how people interact with machines in everyday life. We use AI everywhere at Meta. We've been investing in it for well over a decade, back when it was simply called machine learning. For example, we use it in our Ray-Ban Meta glasses. So when you put these glasses on and take a picture of a menu in a foreign language, you can have it translated into English or a language of your choice. We also use it in our news feed, which allows us to deliver billions of personalized impressions and news feeds on a daily basis to all of our users. And internally, we've deployed it to all of our developers who are using it to write better and faster and more optimized code. But here at Meta, we believe that everyone should have access to AI. And this is why we open source our models. But we have a long history here at Meta of open sourcing. From day one, when we open source products like Thrifts and Open Compute, to 2013, when we founded FAIR, which is our AI research lab, which had three core tenants to it. One, we're going to open source our models. Two, we're going to publish our papers. And three, we're going to publish our tools like PyTorch, which has now become the industry standard for AI development. And today, we're in our Llama era where we've started to open source each one of our models, starting with Llama 1 to where we are today with Llama 3.2. So I often get the question, why does Meta open source these models? Well, we think that there's benefits to Meta, enterprises and developers, and the world. For example, to Meta, we get a bunch of innovation from the community as we release our models. We get thousands and thousands of developers out there optimizing, pushing, making better, distilling, quantizing our models. And that really helps grow the ecosystem. That also then leads to chipset makers optimizing their, their processors for our models, which then drives down the cost of inference, uh, which makes it cheaper and easier for enterprises you know, to use and deploy our models. If you're an enterprise, you're also able to have full control over the model. You choose where you want to deploy it. You choose what data goes into it. You don't have to send your data to another company or someone else's models. You get to, you have full control over that. You also have tons of customization because you control and own the model. You can decide how you want to customize it, distill it, use it, deploy it. And because of the power of the open source innovations behind it, these models become much more affordable and efficient. And we also believe that because of this and because of the thousands of people that are working on our models are much safer. We really believe that you should do AI development out in the open rather than behind closed doors. And we think that this leads to safer models because you've got eyes on it throughout the development process. And because of this, we think that we're very much democratizing AI, making it available to anyone, anywhere. And we think that this will accelerate human progress. So now I want to talk a little bit about the history of Llama. In February of 23, we released Llama 1 to the research community, and the results were off the charts. We got thousands and thousands of requests from people all around the world wanting to use and benefit from Llama. And so as we built Llama 2, we released that under a commercial license so that anyone out there could use Llama free of charge in an open source model. And since then, we've just continued to innovate. So shortly after Llama 2, we released Code Llama, which allows optimizations for coding and lets developers use AI to really build better code. One of the big use cases that we have internally here at Meta. We then released Llama 3 back in April. And just a few weeks ago, we released Llama 3.2 to the community. And it just keeps getting better and better and better. If you look at the capabilities of the models, context windows are getting better and bigger. The models are both getting bigger and smaller. And the performance just continues to increase. And there's a lot more that we want to do. So let me dive a little bit into Llama 3.2. We, we, again, listened a ton to what all of you out there asked us for. For example, there was a huge request, can we please have smaller models? We want to run them on mobile and we want to run them on PC. 
So we released 1 billion and 3 billion parameter models. We also had requests around multimodal. And so we released vision-based vision models as well. And finally, on a safety perspective, we introduced Llama Guard, uh, which really helps with prompts and making sure that models are safe and getting safer out there. And we think the results speak for themselves. We used over 150 different benchmark data sets to evaluate the performance, and we think we crushed it. Our benchmarks out there show that we're as competitive, if not more, than all the other models out there, uh, and especially on things like image recognition and visual understanding. But we're not the only ones who think we're crushing it. The community out there is also giving us great feedback. We've had over 400 million downloads of the models, and that's a 10x improvement or increase from when we, when we released the models back in 23. And there are over 65,000 derivative models out there just showing how much the community is embracing the models and building new things on top of them, which is exactly what our vision was when we released the models. But enough about Llama. Let me talk a little bit about Databricks and our partnership. Databricks is one of our first partners to embrace Llama, and we have a fantastic relationship with them. They have they offer all of the Llama models, including the 405B model, which is a game changer because of the spatial, special capabilities that it unlocks. Things like distillation, which you just can't do with smaller models, or synthetic generation, which these large models excel at. And you can even use this 405B model as a teacher model, which means that you can take it and train smaller models and make them more efficient and optimized. And our customers also agree. Here's just some examples of companies who are benefiting from the Llama and Databricks partnership. Companies like First American are using Llama to extract data from their property records, and the Crisis Text Hotline is improving real-time crisis interventions. So I've covered a lot of technical details today, but I also wanted to try to just help visualize what all of this means. Here's one of my favorite examples of how much progress we've made in AI in such a short amount of time. This starts with a cartoon giraffe in 2023 when I asked MedAI to generate a giraffe riding a bicycle. And what you see is the evolution and the progress of that from a cartoon to a realistic giraffe to what you see on the right of the screen here, which is a photorealistic giraffe riding a bicycle down a country road. Soon, we'll be able to animate this so that you can have this giraffe riding towards you in a movie. And soon after that, bringing our AR vision into this, we're also gonna be able to have this giraffe as a hologram pass in front of you while you're wearing our glasses. So this really is just the beginning of where we think things are headed. And I've covered a lot today, but let me try to summarize before I hand it over, hand it back, which is one, Meta is incredibly invested and committed to open source models. Two, we think very much that the Llama models are state of the art and you're able to get started today with the models by clicking on the, on the link here. And we're really excited about our partnership with Databricks and all the things that we're building together. 